How is it going, everybody? It's your Vice President Scott Evans here, bringing you the weekly update. Sadly, we were out of uh, out of internet service last week, so we missed that, but we're gonna combine it all into this week. We've got three incredible updates for you guys. We're just gonna get right into it. First update you've got is uh, we finally, finally, finally got the new boat. That's where we're bringing you the, bringing you the video from. We're still in the break-in period, but uh, we took her out. Got our first goose last night. Little guy, but uh, they all taste the same. With that, uh, we've got a couple dates set so far. We're gonna be taking out some of the kids from the uh, Teaching Family Homes group home up here. They uh, they heard that we got a new boat, so they're pretty excited to get out on it. Hopefully, we'll get uh, we'll get some good fishing luck with them. We usually we usually do pretty well when we bring out kids. They're good luck charm or something like that. And then uh, we've got uh, we've got a couple guys with the Propylon Assisted Living. Uh, center up here uh, Sally they're wheelchair bound but they still love they still love to pursue a passion for the outdoors so we're gonna get them out hopefully do a little bit of fishing hopefully do a little bit of hunting but uh, with that we're gonna get right into our next update fortunately mother nature wasn't all too kind to us this summer so our veteran standard rock trip is rescheduled until next year but uh, we still want to do everything that we can for for the veterans that we're gonna go out on that so we hooked them up with an incredible incredible muskie captain we're going out November 20th with Bunker Lander down in St. Clair. They've been catching, I mean, just insane, insane numbers of muskies all over 50 inches. And the captain says that, you know, towards the end of the fall, early winter, uh, the muskie pack on, pack on a little bit of extra weight. We'll be taking two veterans out on that trip, and we've even got, uh, we've got the Free Press Outdoor Reporter, one of our good friends, who's going to come out and write up a little story on our trip. So uh, look forward to that. We'll have, I'm pretty sure she's bringing out a cameraman, so we'll have a lot better quality video of that than, than what we usually do. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for that. November 20th, we're taking veterans out, slaying muskies. We'll get right into our last update. It's been uh, it's been quite, quite the road, but we finally, finally, finally got our 501c3 tax exemption status. For our, you know, so we're a certified nonprofit now in the eyes of the IRS. So basically what that entails is, uh, before when we get donations from people, it was just truthfully out of the kindness of their heart and uh, they weren't able to write it off on their taxes. But now if you guys decide to donate any money to us, any you know money, equipment, land, uh, you know anything like that, you can now write it off on your taxes. So keep that in the back of your head as you know, the tax season rolls around. A wise man once told me it's uh, not about how much money you make, but it's about how much you get to keep. So the more write-offs you get, the more money you get to keep. So uh, give us all your money. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, every dollar counts. It takes us about twenty dollars to get a kid fishing, and uh, we've got already got all the money uh, donated for our for our musky trip. So it's about time to start planning a new trip. So uh, stay tuned for that. As always, your vice president Scott Evans here. Happy adventures.